Hey guys, it's Shannon with Passionate Priorities again. Just another update on Project Life. This is weeks 10 through 12. So here we are into March. Yay, I made it into March. <laughs> um, I'm still using the Basic Gray Wander Collection paper. So over here is just a picture of my oldest son using the microscope. Um, he is taking biology this year and he was doing an experiment where he was uh, researching some slides and um, classifying and things like that. So down here, uh, this little guy is just a really old, um, what company is that? Oh my goodness, I've had this forever. It's just a little cutout. Oh, I can't remember. Anyway, with this project, I have just pulled out a lot of things that I've had for a while and haven't used, so I was really excited to get to add him to this page. And then just some little stickers. These are from Stickopotamus. And just another little quote sticker. Uh, the quote stickers, I think, all are from... Hmm, I don't know. Oh, goodness. Sorry, I can't think. <laughs> uh, Anyway, moving on, uh, here's my kitty on my bed in my bedroom. He likes to perch up here on the top of the headboard and stare down at us. So uh, hopefully one day he won't pounce on my head. That'd be scary. And then this is from another basic gray paper collection. It's just some pencils and rulers and stuff, which I wanted to add because of the school theme up here. Over on this side... This is my youngest, and he was doing some homeschool stuff in his pajamas. <laughs> um, he was actually reading a book on world religions, and this week he was focusing on Hinduism. So I just caught him reading there. Here's my little kitty enjoying his nightly treat of tuna, which he absolutely loves. And then over here is just a quick little, I have a a story up there but just a picture of a broom standing up on its own and why you shouldn't believe everything you hear so I'll just leave it at that but I thought that was pretty cool okay let me turn the page this is my next week so up here I have let the journey begin and that is just a little like metal embellishment from making memories down here, I had gone to, ooh, that's a bad glare. <laughs> I had gone to an auction with my mother and father-in-law. Actually, our whole family went. And it's held, here's from, you know part of the auction going on, but it's held in this old roller skating rink. So they have this gigantic roller skate out front, and I couldn't resist taking my picture with the roller skate because, I mean, how often do you see a giant roller skate? I mean, I'm 5'11", and you can see how much taller than me this skate is. It is pretty crazy. And then I just used these chipboard letters to spell out auction. These are from... <laughs> we are memory keepers. Over here's my kitty again because I can't resist. I think he is absolutely adorable. And on this little square, uh, I just used some rub-ons by Carolee's Creations. And then over here I just have a picture of some pillows. I walked into... Ross and had no intention to buy anything. I was just shopping with my mother-in-law and I saw these pillows and they matched my room perfectly so I had to get them. All right and then the last week here. Um, here's my kitty again under the desk of course but he sleeps like that all the time on his back with his little feet up and it's just so cute. So down here I have a picture of one of my coach purses. Um, I actually have a purse collection, if you will. I've always loved buying purses and it used to drive my husband crazy because I used to buy new ones all the time because they would get chunky looking really fast. So he suggested maybe I try buying a good quality purse that would last. So a couple years ago we bought my first coach purse and ever since I've gotten a few more and um, I've gotten rid of all my other junky purses and I have actually just stuck to buying quality purses which is really nice because they last. So anyway this one is my absolute favorite one I own. It's a blue python. Um, absolutely love this bag so I just had to include it. And then here is my youngest son using my cat as a pillow. 
It's a very patient cat. <laughs> and then over on this page, just the, uh, the last thing here is as a family, well, sorry, let me take that back. My boys and I went to see Hunger Games um, on opening day. We were actually going to go to the midnight showing, but ended up not going. So we went at, I think it was about 10 the next morning. Um, so I just, I didn't have any pictures from the Hunger Games. So I just captured these pictures offline. So there's just, you know, the Hunger Games. And I love this picture with the different cast members. And then down here, I just included our tickets and then you know just kind of journaled the different names of the characters in the movie so that is it um hopefully again like i said before that this might have given you some ideas um i know i enjoy watching other people's project life videos just to get ideas for my own book um just you know because you never know i mean i've seen some really good ideas in other videos about just things that i could take pictures of or include so hopefully this has inspired you thanks bye